We designed the computational tools that would allow a company to design an alloy and design a process to meet their specific needs for whatever application they're working on. We were approached by the military to set up the simulation tools to take a lot of their materials and processes and be able to use computer modeling to predict their response to processing as well as their response to service. And the reason you want to do that is it saves you the very expensive experimental work. This project is being funded through a $24 million cooperative agreement with the Army Research Lab. The U.S. military needs materials that are lightweight and high strength. And what we're trying to do is create better materials for their applications. If you're going to do simulation, you need data so we can come up with all the equations we need to do that and then develop the models. But the database you develop by doing specific experiments to determine that uh, information. So our goal is to develop that database so that we can run the simulations and get good results. One of the techniques we use is called cold spray. You have powder particles that are injected into a flame or a plasma and then accelerated and sprayed onto something. Right now, the big application for this is in a repair. Helicopter engine housings are made out of magnesium and uh, they wear out. Uh, so you can come in with a cold spray and actually cold spray aluminum to rebuild up and create that shape. So this has applications in the commercial automotive industry, commercial aircraft engine industry, companies like Caterpillar, uh, companies like Deere. They have lots of complex shapes they need to make and they wanna make them with excellent properties and lower cost. What I'm most excited about is developing the tools that will allow our customers, that allow industry, which allow the military to make uh, materials better, faster, cheaper.